Hey, what's up guys? Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's always following me and supporting me, as always, salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about how do you possibly get over a $35,000 personal loan with no proof of income? Okay, and so we're going to be breaking that down so that way you can actually understand what is necessary in order to make this happen. Because for most people, they don't understand like how does this person get more funding on a personal loan than I do. So we're going to break that down so that everybody can understand what it is. Now keep in mind, when they're talking about no proof of income, again, they may be talking about referencing to a type of assets or you may be a person that's not able to prove that you actually make income. And so I'm going to break everything down so you can understand, all right? But first understand, with these lenders that I'll be talking about today, one of the things about it, they may not pull your regular FICO score. So they may not pull your Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, right? But they're going to go to their third party companies that they actually already own. And so I'm going to tell you these here third party companies that these credit bureaus own. So when you're trying to get funding and stuff and you say, well, I don't see any inquiry here. Definitely, they have checked their other systems to see if you qualify, okay? So, the first one is Clarity. Now, Clarity is owned by Experian, okay? And these here, when you're getting, if you have a low credit score, or you have low income, or again, you may not be able to prove that you have income, this is the system, these are the systems that they're actually using, okay? So then you have a core logic. And this is very important. I know a lot of people, well, I just want to know lenders. No, no, no. You need to pay attention because if you understand how these systems work, it'll be much easier for you to get that larger amount of money because you'll be able to lock up these files when you're trying to apply for funding, okay? So that's the reason you need to understand these, okay? So you got Core uh, Logic Teletrack, and you have Data X, which is owned by X, uh, Equifax. Then you also have um, Factor Trust, which is owned by TransUnion. Alright, so just keep that in mind. These are the credit bureaus they're actually pulling from. Even though they may not pull your FICO score, they're actually pulling data because these here companies are keeping your financial data. So if you took out a personal loan before, you didn't pay it back, or anything that's related financially, these are the system that they're actually going to be pulling from, okay? And you need to understand that. Let's talk about some of these lenders, all right? And for some of you guys that may be veterans that's, and it's been maybe challenging for you to actually get funding and stuff, I want to tell you about there is a company. This is, again, they are offering up to $40,000. Uh, even if you have bad credit, all right? But they're, they're, for, they're for veterans, okay? So just stick with me because there's other lenders here as well. So just stick with me. And uh, for business loans, uh, their business loan, it's up to 350 all right? Now, if some of you guys may have uh, used a VA financial before or you heard about them and you work with them or whatever, put a comment below. Let me know what was your experience, okay? And again, some of you may have heard of these, some of these lenders. So again, please put a comment below. Let me know. Hey, Houston, I've used these guys. I didn't like them. The interest rates was too high. It was hard to get somebody on the phone. Let me know your experience, all right? And that's with bad credit, okay? Now, you have um, 
personal loans and some of these I may put a link below for you to check out uh, personalloans.com okay and with personalloans.com they loan up to $35,000 number four on our list 5k funds okay now some of these lenders are new in the market okay and so I don't really know that much about them but I do know that if you have challenging credit but you're able to show that hey I'm able to make the payments and stuff they're one of the companies that's willing to work with you okay and so they go anywhere from as I was telling you guys this just a few and I'm gonna talk about a few more but here's the thing about it you have to understand when you come across lenders a lot of times uh, when they're talking about no proof of income okay there's four levels of no proof of income okay and it's very important because this no proof of income not only does it work for personal loans but say that you're trying to get qualified for a mortgage so I'm going to break that down so that you understand what each one can act how you can benefit from each one okay now in terms of the first one we're talking about stated income stated assets so when they say stated income uh, stated assets that means that you yourself may not have a uh, personal income however your business may be generating a lot of income so you may be uh, living through your business like with Elon Musk right so Elon Musk uh, he was selling all his homes in California but then he had his corporation actually buy one of those uh, buildable foldable homes right for about 50,000 right and so he actually lives in that down in Texas but he rents it the corporation owns it and they rent it out to him or there's another uh, tax strategy to where it actually that the corporation owns it and he's still able to live in it as part of his compensation package okay so that's what they mean about like stated income stated assets and stuff is where you have a business but you don't have any personal income yourself okay so that your corporation gives you a severance pay like your medical housing and all like that stuff so that's what they mean so whenever you're trying to get loans personal loans or buy a house and stuff like that and they said stated income stated assets then what they're wanting you to do you may have to produce maybe about um, so they probably want to see about 12 months of bank statements okay and this this is very important again not only if you're trying to get personal loans of 35,000 or higher but if you're trying to get a mortgage as well you need to understand when they say hey do you have XYZ do you have stated income or stated income stated assets and so by you having a business that's producing that's supporting you then that's what they mean okay stated like say that you are a waiter okay so with you being like a a waiter or a bellhop a person that gets tips and gratuities and stuff like that so you would have to produce just your bank statements all right because you again the only income that you can show that hey this is my income is because you have all you're receiving is you living off pretty much just tips and stuff so that's stated income now no income verified assets okay no income verified assets okay and so what that means and this is very important is say that you're a seasonal worker you're self-employed you're an independent contractor right so where your income is going up and down and stuff like that like with lenders like some of these lenders that we're talking about here they're like okay what 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 I need for you to do is to show me somehow some way in terms of how's your income 
because uh, with no proof of income, that means that you're not a regular uh, W-2 worker, okay? So that's the reason that they want you to show it. Here's some of the things, um, say that you're an independent contractor, self-employed. Bank statements, you may have a 1099 uh, miscellaneous. Those, those are the type of things that they, they would want to see, okay? You may have a profit and loss statement, all right? You may um, say that you're selling things like on eBay or something like that and you're getting paid through PayPal, through Square and stuff like that. That would be your um, no income verified assets type of situation. Excuse me, I am so embarrassed because I jumped ahead of myself but let's back up the no income no assets is your seasonal okay excuse me no income no assets is your seasonal work your independent contractors okay I, sa I said it was no income verified assets but that's wrong your no income no assets is where you want to show your bank statements, your 1099, your profit and loss, maybe your PayPal statements. And one of the things I keep telling you guys, like say that you're getting paid through PayPal and say that you needed a loan and you have bad credit and stuff like that. Well, PayPal or Square, they may loan you up to 30% on your revenue, right? But here's another thing. With those same numbers, you can go to other independent lenders and you can use those same numbers to raise more capital. So that's the reason it's important in terms of when you're doing all your transactions and stuff, don't just think that, hey, PayPal is the only one that I can use these numbers for. That's not correct. You can still use those numbers. So, like if you have uh, some type of a bookkeeping system like QuickBooks and stuff like that, then you're able to go to more places to be able to borrow capital for, you, uh, for your business most of the time, but also to be able to leverage those numbers so that you can get funding or help you buy a car or help you buy, buy a home with those same numbers. All right, so that's the reason that this is important. Now, we're gonna talk about no income verified assets. Now, with no income, excuse me, no income verified assets, if you are a retiree, okay? That means if you're a retiree and your only income um, that you're drawing money from is like your 401k, you may have annuities, things of that nature. You may have a, like a rental income and stuff like that, all right? So by you say that you have a, a property on the beach and you're renting one of the rooms out like Airbnb, okay? So that's income, but it's not employee income that you can actually leverage to say, hey, I do have income, uh, this is how I'm generating income and again this is the reason why I tell you guys it's so important to set up the corporation for your business whether you're an independent contractor you're doing Toro you're doing Airbnb all of this is important guys because it helps put you in a better position so that you are able to qualify for more funding on the business side as well as the personal side Okay, this is so important. Now, understanding that again, like with no income, verified assets, retiree, 401k, annuities, uh, rent, and stuff like that. And if you have questions or concerns about setting up your corporation a certain way or whatever, you can click the link and set up a consultation, uh, 10 minute, 30 minute, one hour consultation so that you can understand why you need to structure your business a certain way in order to leverage it to get more funding for you personally as well as business, okay? And so I think this is very important because a lot of people, they don't know there's a lot of lenders out there and a lot of these lenders, they may not be concentrating on you because you don't have a regular nine to five. 
they're concentrating on you because you may have uh, you're not able to properly uh, verify your income but you have income okay so this is the reason why we're talking about these lenders especially if you're trying to go 35 and above now we're going to talk about some lenders even if you're not going 35 and above but in terms of looking at no income proof so you have another company now with Avant again a company like Avant they go anywhere from then you have another company that's in the market and so with lending point they go anywhere from 2k up to 36.5 okay then here's another one you have upstart now with upstart again upstart they're doing going anywhere from a thousand up to 50k okay so again if you're a person that just don't know how to prove that you have income, just look at these here lenders. Because again, uh, they're going to be looking at these here credit bureaus. These are the uh, third party credit bureaus they're going to look at. That's one thing that's very important. Another thing is that, again, you may, you may be a waiter, you may be retired, that's depending uh, on... Uh, like I said, your 401k, your annuities and stuff like that. Um, you may have like other assets. You may have uh, collectibles like uh, cars. You may have uh, paintings. Things of that nature in terms of helping you get qualified for different loans as well. So, sp talking about cars, um, also um, you have uh, title loans. Okay, now with title loans, again, talking about your transportation, but a lot of lenders in the market, they loan you up to 30% of the equity in your car. Okay, so they'll loan you up to 30% of equity in your car. All right, so don't feel that, hey, I can't get any money. You know, I got a job, I'm a waiter, but I still can't prove it. One of the things that I, I would definitely tell you guys is before you apply to these lenders and stuff, I would definitely pull my credit reports from these third party companies to see what's actually in that information. Okay, that's very important. So that way when you're applying this stuff, you know that you'll have a higher chance of being approved. Especially, like I said, if you're trying to get $35,000 or more and you don't have any proof of income, but you have, you know you make good money and stuff, these are the companies that uh, you want to look at. Like I said, for VA, you want to look at VA Financial, 40000 bad credit. Uh, business loans three hundred and fifty thousand. Then you have Universal Credit up to fifty thousand. Personalloans.com thirty five. You have five K funds from a hundred up to thirty five thousand. Then you have Avant from two thousand to thirty five thousand. Lending Point that goes from two thousand up to thirty six point five. Then you have Upstart that goes from a thousand to fifty thousand. And then also you have title loans, all right? So if you need capital, there are other lenders out there. You don't just have to turn to the bank, all right? Um, this is another thing that's happening. A lot of people realize, I'm like, wait a minute, my bank is going to penalize me because I have challenging credit and stuff, but I still have good income. Well, these are the lenders you may want to look out for to see if they can possibly help you, all right? So this is Houston with three-way funding. Again, if you have any questions, you need a consultation, click the link below. Also, for those of you that just found my YouTube channel, welcome, please subscribe. And for those of you that support me, especially my patrons, I appreciate all you guys and always salute.